playing around with Vercel today, I just discovered a brand new feature. It, it might be a new feature as some people are reporting on S, but I can tell you I haven't seen it before, so it may or may not be a new feature, but it's definitely blown my mind. Right now, you can go to the internet, to any website, grab the URL and paste it into Visito, and you can recreate that exact same website into a coded site completely done by AI. Let me show you what I'm talking about. For this experiment, we're going to recreate two uh, different projects. Uh, number one will be Zero by Brazil. We're going to recreate on the whole landing page with the input for you to add your prompt for it to create a website. And number two, we're going to recreate the Ghost website, which is a blogging platform. So both of them will be recreated completely using AI with no intervention on my part. And I will show you exactly how I'm doing it. So let's jump right into it. So here we can visito. This is their landing page. So when you go to visito.dev and this is where it takes you, I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab on the URL and paste it here. And I'm going to ask recreate this website and let's see what it does. So right now it has taken a screenshot um, of the site. I'm going to show you if you get on in light mode, I have a computer in dark mode. S slight difference there. It, it didn't recognize that. No big deal. We can change that later if we were to need it. But as you can see, he has created what we want. So I'm going to open this and I'm going to open another tab. Let's move this out of the way. So this is the one that I recreated. This is the one that we have. Small differences. I would say that overall, he did a really good job. And let's change this to light mode and compare apples to apples. Yeah, I would say he did a decent job at doing exactly what we needed. So it means the sidebar, the font is a little bit different. Uh, this is bigger than what they have. And the input area is a little bit different. Wow. Overall, I would say nine out of 10. Now for the second trial, uh, we're going to go into Ghost. We're going to grab the link and we're going to go back to Vercel and we're going to see how it does. Recreate this website. Let's give it a little bit more context. So we create this website using this same font, color, Palette, the main chance, font size, and arrangements. So let's see how it changes or if you make any difference to give it a little bit more contest. All right, so it looked like it will only do on the header. In a way, that's fine for now. So we can figure out how to how to do it a little bit different um, in a feature iteration if if it's not uh, what we want. Let's see. Yep, only the header actually did pretty good job. The out of it. Yeah, he did, he did a pretty good job, I would say, in my opinion. Granted, and this image is not the same, but other than that, yeah, I would say that perhaps it needs to figure out how to add the same amount of margin and padding, but for the most part, it looks about right. As you can see, there is no reason why you cannot clone any website out there, whether it's because you like uh, their design or whether you are doing it for a school project or whatever the case is, you can clone any website just by taking the URL and put it, in, it into V0 and letting, letting it do its magic. Realistically, 
this was in a scale of one to 10 on how easy it was, uh, one out of 10, it was super easy and you can do it at home and you can do it for your work or whatever it is that you need to get it done. The big part is that we just did all of these in the free account because I have only a free plan. As you can see down here is saying, Hey, you can upgrade on to premium, but I haven't upgraded yet because the free plan is quite generous. So you can get a whole lot done by only using the free plan. I really appreciate you taking your time and watching this video with me. I hope to see you in the next one. Please remember likes, subscribes, just the, the whole shebang, the whole thing that everybody has in YouTube. I will really appreciate it too, just like everybody else does. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.